Hi, this is Brother Bryce, and I'm going to help you get started with the Lector Interactions. What you do is when you get to the ELB library, you'll see Activities and then Lector Interactions. As you can see, there are quite a few different interactions to choose from. Let's go ahead and select this first blue tabbed interaction. And as you can notice, when you first select it, you can see the transition on how the, it will appear. But not, not only that, you can see the functionality of, of this interaction here. How the, the buttons will turn blue when visited, and then the hover as well. When you figure out the one that you, uh, that you want to put in your course, all you need to, to do is download it from, from this option here. So we have three different options. It's this image assets. This gives you all the PSDs for the buttons and text boxes. So let's go ahead and uh, download Lectora version 11, since I'm using version 11 this time. And as I download it, I'm just downloading it onto my desktop. I can go ahead and unzip it here by extracting all. Uh, at this point, I can go ahead and open the interaction. So when I have the interaction open, I can either modify it here or let's go ahead and just bring it into the the course and edit it there. Either way is fine. So the way you do that is uh, by control C or, or right clicking and then copying it. And then going into your project file and picking the, the page that you want the interaction immediately after. So th in this case, I want it right after this course menu page. So I select the course menu and control V or paste it in. <laughs> and since I already pasted this one interaction in, uh, it will ask me to replace this same um, background image, which is fine. Okay, so we can see kind of the full view. And as you noticed, you can see the there. it also brought in this background image that was originally intended for this interaction. If you don't want to keep the same background, all you need to do is uh, select that to view so, so it's out of your view. But for the published view, you need to make sure it's initially hidden. Next comes uh, editing your content. And what you need to do is you go to the tab content group and inside tab content group you have uh, all, all these different groups um, tab one content and, and so forth uh, let's go ahead and select unselect all these so they are not viewed and so I can focus on uh, tab one's content and uh, and when I do that I can then come in here and edit anything that I need Put in a new title, um, put in new text, and um, inside this group I can add anything I want. I can add more, uh, more text boxes, different images, and uh, let's go ahead and put in another image. So I'll put these people in there professional looking business people excuse me here. and if I want to move a single item inside a group I need to hold down the alt key and then I can move the whole group with or, or the the one single item without moving the whole group because lector does that if, uh, if, if it's inside a group and you select one item and move it, it also moves the other item that you have, don't have selected. So by pressing and holding the Alt key, it, um, it helps with that. So if I press F12 again, it will refresh the page and I can see what it will look like. Okay, and then so let's go ahead and view this, see how it looks. When I have this up, I can see the the transitions coming in, and then selecting tab one, I see the people, my new text, my new title, and uh, and then going forward, uh, you, you just need to add in that extra stuff inside the rest of the other groups. Now it comes to these buttons. Uh, 
you probably don't want to keep this same title tab text one. So in order to change the text of the button, all you need to do is come to the tab buttons group and inside here you'll see all the different tabs, tabs one through twelve. And inside that group you'll see uh, a text group or a text item and that text item will be the, the text of your, uh, of your button. So all you need to do is go in there and edit it, people, P-E-O-P-L-E, -E, and that will be my people group, G-R-O-U-P, and, um, and then if you press F12, you can see what it will look like. And uh, as you go through, um, you might realize that you want to also um, not use all of these tabs. You might only want to use 10 or 11. So uh, the way you do that is hide them from your view as, and hide them from publish view. So hide them from your view by that and then going through to this, to this properties tab and selecting initially hidden. Um, also you need to be aware of if there is a group inside a group, um, that initially hidden will not hide that inside group. So again, you need to hide that inside group initially hidden, initially hidden. And then uh, when you have that all done, uh, let's go ahead and view it. And you can see uh, then only those 10 items will pop, pop up. Now to suggest definitely not uh, deleting the, those buttons from this group because uh, it will actually break the page if you don't delete other uh, actions or or variables. So it's easiest just to hide them. And then if you want them back, it's also very easy just to you know uh, come here, initially hidden, uh, and then initially hidden, uh, and then again it's back. So that's a quick tutorial of how to get started on these uh, Lector interactions. Hope that helped and uh, have a nice day.